The Smartboard Revolution Global Virtual User Group presents a Smart Survival Guide video. And this is the Effective Smartboard Use Series. This episode will focus on using the Smart Print Capture or the Smart Document Printer, depending on which version of Notebook you have, to capture PDFs into Notebook or web pages into notebook or Word documents, anything that can be printed. I'm your host, Matt Granger. Connect with me at Twitter or on our Google Plus community, The Smart Board Revolution. So I have a Word document here and that I want to get into Smart Notebook so I can interact with it. Yeah, I can use it here on a smart board as it is and use the inking tools which may or may not work or the smart ink to interact over this word document but for me if I want to do any interacting with it I want to get it into smart notebook because it's going to give me a lot more tools a lot more options and it's just going to be easier I go to print and in the printer dialog box, when you click on the printer name, you go all the way to the bottom of the list. And here we have Smart Notebook Document Writer. Now I'm using version 11.3 of Smart Notebook. If you have an earlier version, it may be called or the Smart Print Capture. Either way, it's the same thing. So I will select that. As with printing anything, I can select the pages if I want to do just a single page or a range of pages from a document. I can select those things. And what will happen is when I click OK here, however many pages, since I'm doing all, however many pages this Word document is, it will create that number of pages in a smart notebook file. You can see here at the bottom now that smart notebook is starting. Now there are some enhanced capabilities here in the smart notebook document printer. Here I can convert smart notebook pages with images so you can't edit these pages. Right? They look the same as they did in the original document. So basically it's just turning that each page into an image but with the new smart notebook document printer we have this other option here smart notebook pages with editable objects so it will put in text objects as text that you can edit uh, the images will be separate from the document that can be moved around and changed Right, that's new with the Smart Notebook document printer. Smart Print Capture, it's just going to do it as notebook pages with images. So I'm going to go with that one this time so we can see how that looks. So it comes here into Notebook now. It was a two page document, so I have two pages. All right. Notice that it is one image. I can't edit anything. I can click on the drop down menu in the corner and I have all the standard choices that I have for any other image. If this was something that I was going to be using as a background to highlight, annotate, I would lock it in place. And there's page one and here's page two. Notice the text is moving with the image because the whole page is one big image, including all the text down here. So if you have print capture, that's what you're going to get. This time we'll use the option for the editable objects. Depending on how large the document is, will determine how long it takes for this file conversion. All right. Sometimes it's going to work better than other times. You can see, not a very effective 
transfer. So in that case, I would just go back and do it with the first option. Um, but generally, I would do that anyway because if I'm going to interact with it, I just want to be using the pens and the tools and the highlighter, etc. So if I need to edit the document, I'll just edit the Word document. Just If you can print it, you can use the smart print capture or notebook document writer. For this, I would definitely do it any kind of a web page. I would definitely do it as a notebook page with images. You can see here and you know depending on the web page too, right, what's in those boxes may or may not actually show up. So the kind of the outside stuff showed up in the first page. Inside part of that box showed up here in the second page. So you know it, you may or may not get exactly what the page looks like. But if you needed, say, this part, right, you have it now and you can lock it down and do what you need with it. Again, anything that you can print, you can use that. If you can get to a print dialog box. So that's how the smart print capture or the smart notebook document writer works. It's a very effective way to use a smart board and use anything that you can print. Anything that you already have, worksheets, PDFs, uh, any of that, you can put right into notebooks. So then you can use your smart notebook pens and tools to interact with it.